hey, it's a cat. How's it going, guys? So today I want to talk about a bunch of really cool add-ons that are under $10. Um, there were quite a few of them, and I just picked out my favorites. Uh, so we'll get into that right after this quick shout out. Welcome to Real Time Materials, a collection of customizable procedural materials compatible with EV and Cycles. With over six years of experience, I have created an add-on currently containing 240 materials across 14 surface categories. This add-on will speed up your workflow, allowing you to stay creative while maximizing your artistic output. You might be thinking, what about image textures? Image textures are easy to set up, but don't give you any control. Real-time materials are loaded with custom properties, giving you the freedom to change roughness, color, and all kinds of patterns. You can change the shape of wood, the direction of cloth weave, and the size of scratches, among many other parameters. Even if you already know how to make procedural materials, imagine the time you will save if you could apply those materials in one easy click. So the first add-on is called Pixel. They call it a cheat code for pixel art. So this add-on makes it really easy to make pixel art. With one click, it kind of sets up your scene so that it'll work properly. And then you can go ahead and add your pixel art materials, um, which are tune materials if you know what those are. Uh, once those are applied to your mesh, you can pretty much just hit render and it's gonna apply your pixel settings. I'm assuming it's compositing stuff. Um, it's gonna throw out this really, really interesting, very easy to do pixel art piece. Um, with good lighting, good materials, you're gonna have something really, really nice like this. And honestly, it's worth the price when it comes to add-ons that you're paying for. Um, the biggest thing is, is it saving me time or is it saving me from doing something that's gonna take time? This one is a perfect example of that. It's a really good price. Um, under 10 bucks for this is just awesome. All right, next one is Pro Lens 2. This is a newer version of an older add-on and it's awesome. So this add-on is gonna help you create more realistic renders by changing the way the bokeh and the lens distortions appear. Mostly it's the bokeh. If you don't know what bokeh is, if you ever have lights in the background of a blurry image, those lights are gonna just become kind of these round, kind of blurry objects, that's called bokeh. And with more professional lenses or more stylized lenses in real movies, you'll notice has this kind of halo effect on the edge and that's what this add-on really helps you do. All right, next one is a kind of an asset pack. It's called Glare and it's a bunch of really high quality, very modern looking lights. So this add-on is a collection of really high quality lights, including IES lights. I really like add-ons that kind of live on the end panel like this and have a really nice looking user interface. And it allows you to browse and look at models really easily. All right, number four is Speed Retopo. I think we're at number four, but Speed Retopo. So the Speed Retopo add-on makes fast retopology very easy. And I know my channel has a lot of beginners that watch it, and this add-on is made for beginners. So Speed Retopo is also gonna automate things so you don't have to like concentrate on every single little detail. It's automatically going to add modifiers that help with your retopology workflow. Now the user interface is very well laid out, allowing you to choose settings and tools that help you with your retopology. And for those of you who love a pie menu, there is a pie menu kind of version of this that comes with it instead of editing in kind of the end panel, you can edit in the pie menu. All right, now the cracks and damage maker add-on. Now this is a super cool add-on that allows you to create damage or cracks with one click and you have quite a bit of customization within like distortion, damage, and density. Now, in my opinion, you're getting a tremendous value on this add-on. Just recently, there was another add-on that came out that was much higher priced that kind of does the same thing um, and this one is just cool. I mean, you it's adding damage very easily, very quickly to your model. So if you're doing more of a rundown thing or if you're making say, uh, or if you're trying to make like a stone building that looked like it was hand built, this is perfect. Um, so, you know, a lot of these add-ons are very specific to one thing that you may want to do. And this one is another example of that. So if you're wanting to do those chipped things and you don't want to sculpt it, you don't want to do it yourself, you just click around and it adds damage and it is a huge time saver. Like I said, when it comes to add-ons, are they saving you time? No, don't buy it. If it is saving you time and this will help you, I see no issue in paying for these things. They're amazing. And these just have an incredibly great value to them. All right, this one might be my favorite. It's theme candy. I, you know, on my phone or my my computer, I'm always changing my background, I like customizing the way things look. And I like to customize my Blender theme. This one, makes all of the really obvious points to edit and change color very easy. Um, if you've ever tried to change your theme before, you know you just kind of have to click around and bounce and figure out, oh wait, what am I saying? What's this, what's that, what's that? It's a huge list of customization. This add-on kind of cherry picks the big ones that are you're just gonna see everywhere 
and allows you to change those specific colors. And there's a more advanced section as well. So you can do simple or advanced. Um, it allows you to just very easily change your theme and then you go ahead and save your preferences to keep it. Um, this one's my favorite. Out of all of these, I just love changing things. My phone wallpaper probably changes three times a week. Um, so that's just the kind of person that I am. I like to change the way stuff looks. Um, and this is awesome. All right, so number six is Simple Bend. Now this is a tool that does one thing really well. And honestly, I didn't know that this was something that was needed, uh, but it has 1,600 downloads. So, so a lot of people wanted this. Now Simple Bend is a tool for helping you bend subdivided meshes. Uh, so the way it works is you just add edge loops or subdivide your mesh. And then you can select the faces for bending. It can be all the faces or just kind of middle parts. And then you run the tool, drag out the yellow axis to bend it. So when you make a selection, you can either bend both sides or just bend one side. So you do have options here. You know, a simple add-on doesn't need to be, just because it's a simple add-on doesn't mean it doesn't give you a lot of customization and really useful settings. All right, our next add-on is Fractal Generator. Now, if you've tried making fractals or followed fractal making tutorials, you know it takes a long time to set up and do and having to change your ideas is a pain in the butt. Uh, this add-on is gonna make all of that really easy. So the way it works is you can generate fractals using two simple input shapes uh, to get really interesting results. So the generation of the fractal is based on two selected input meshes and a set of parameters that you can change. Now what's very cool about this add-on is it kind of helps you from crashing because once, once you're building these fractals, you can get very dense, very heavy topology very quickly. Um, so this add-on is actually gonna help you calculate that before you do it. Um, so it's, it'll save you from crashes and forgetting to save and all that stuff. So it's really cool and very beneficial in that sense. Now, this next add-on is something that I personally love. If you've been following the channel for a long time, you know I love weird shapes, weird animation, just weird looking abstract stuff. And this one is right in my wheelhouse and it's called Organics. So it is a procedural shape generator and it utilizes geometry nodes. Uh, and you have a really nice menu that allows a lot of variations. So you can edit your shapes. And one very cool thing is it allows you to animate these shapes. Uh, a lot of shape generators don't allow you to animate what's going on, this one does. And I think that's one thing that separates this one from a lot of shape generators. There isn't a whole lot to say about this. Um, it has a really cool seed value, so you can just infinitely change hundreds of shapes and you can add these as your own assets or just make animations. I'm probably gonna be making some really cool loops with these, um, so we'll see, but I love this add-on. All right, another simple add-on that does one thing really well, Twisted Extrude. Now this add-on is great for making abstract shapes. It essentially allows you to extrude a mesh and then immediately twist that extrusion. Uh, you have some other options as well, like some bending and stretching, but it does this one thing and it does it well. And for those of you who find this useful, it's gonna be a game changer for you. So if you're making these abstract weird shapes um, and animating them, this is gonna save you some time. Early in my Blender work, I was doing a lot of stuff like this and I wish I had this add-on. Um, so I'm sure there's some people out there who are really gonna love this. All right, this last one is really cool. It's Image Node Preview. So when you're using image textures, this add-on is gonna let you give you kind of a little window and show you what image you're using. So if you do a lot of image texturing, whatever, this one's gonna help you so you don't get confused, make sure you're not duplicating. All of that stuff is nice. Now, you may think, well, what about the rest of the texture nodes? Now, the, the person who made this add-on has another add-on that is more expensive, which is why it's not on the list, but linked on that product page for the image node preview gives you an add-on that allows you to image, I mean, you know, give you a preview of every single node you're working on, like Voronoi, Noise, all that stuff. So if that is something that you'd like, you can also check that out. It just didn't make the list because it's more than $10. There you go, those are the add-ons. I can definitely make this a series, which I think I will, going on different price points or even the same price points, but I had fun researching this, looking up these add-ons. Uh, check them out. Um, I don't have affiliate links for any of these add-ons. I just really love talking about this stuff. Uh, so if you do want to support the channel at Patreon, I have real-time materials. You can check that out linked in the description as well. Uh, but with that being said, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next tutorial.